Yeah, because like, when I found out there was mechs in it, I really pushed the quest to get the license to get one, so yeah, it was kind of fun. <laughs> On the field, there are green light sources called ether channels. Using them to fill up your up ether cylinders will come in handy for your adventure, so be sure to harvest them. Press A while near an ether channel to harvest its ether into a cylinder. Oink. I did like how they brought back to where you don't have to press A on the items anymore. And you just pick them up. That's the one thing I really loved about the first one. What's that? Shall we deal with this? Let me check. Ether's gushing out. This is an ether channel, no doubt about it. Oh, that's cool. I gotta keep an eye out for those. Should be enough. Moving forward, there will doubtless be times when ether will pr prove indispensable. Let's gather it when we have a chance. Let's get back to the Faranus and use the ether cylinder to try and reboot the motor assembly. Right. So you're rebooting Faranus hulks. Throughout I Ionios, you will find decrepit Faranus hulks lying around. They can be rebooted with the same with that with the use of some ether cylinders. A rebooted Faranus can manufacture items with its fabricator. It will also have containers which conceal hard to get items and can even be used as rest spots. Cool. Let me check. Point. Huh. We've been spotted. Eh. Well, so much for that idea. Yeah, I hate it took up so much time to keep pressing A. I ain't no telling how much time I spent just doing that. I mean, I know now that means one spot won't have more than one item, but shoot, they have them all scattered out everywhere. It's crazy. My god, Lance, do you really stomp that loud when you run? Holy crap. Jeez, sounds like a monster following me when he walks. Oink. If we get the Faronis running, that's not going to switch on the defenses, is it? I can confirm that they were damaged beyond repair. We'll be fine. Let's install an ether cylinder in the power compartment and get the Faronis moving. Alright, there's one ether cylinder. Now I just gotta remember to keep an eye out for the ether spots. Piranus Hulk rebooted. It moved. Now we should be able to claim the contents of those containers. We may be able to claim more than we first anticipated. How do you reckon? That's how. By restoring power to the Faronis, it would seem we've brought the microfab back to life as well. So yes, I'd recommend checking the fiber, eh, fiber crater while we're on our little salvaging hunt. Yeah, and I like how some of the hidden stuff kind of shows up Let's in like the this. 
actual like silhouette like the, with the containers and stuff like that anything to help our cause let's have a look in the next container Ooh. Whoa, got a rare dude all right anything here to help our cause holy cap at the coins It's a microfab, a hand-operable fabricator commonly installed in old Pharaonises. For a price, we can make the things this Pharaonis used to produce. Nifty little gadget, eh? Let's take this thing for a spin, then. So here, each Pharaonis Hulk has a fabricator nearby which can be made to manufacture collectibles by spending G. They can make very rare and difficult to acquire items. Okay. Holy crap at the items. We found plenty of useful stuff here. There was more left behind than I dared hope. I couldn't detect any monster presence around the Ferranus perimeter. Seems like we'll be safe then. Shall we rest here for the day? Oh, I've still got energy left in the tank. I can take first watch. Senna acting alone really isn't... Meh. Shield shield? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what the? Meh. Shield shield is not no pun of dubious origin. <laughs> Your colony affiliation and objective. Tell me quick. Shield shield is traveling trader pawn, not bound to any pawn or man. Saw a light shining here, so took it upon self to investigate so called haps. A no pond vagrant, then. Man, is there anywhere you guys aren't? Why have you called vagrant? That word, I, that word show real lack of respect. You're not with Agnes or Kevis, right? How about... It, itinerant? It, then? God, I can't read. I mean, I suppose that's slightly better. Anyhow, any friend that she'll, she'll meet soon turn to customer and vice versa. So what kind of things do you sell? Oh, search headgear and bunnet choker and all that jazz. She'll she'll deal in anything. That she'll she'll meet friends here is also fake. She'll, she'll give good price, so please to buy lots. I'm a little worried about our finances. You're right, especially since we won't be paid bounties from our colonies anymore. In that case, please to sell any and all things of monetary value to she'll she'll. You sold all your sell only collectibles to she'll she'll. Didn't even give me an option. Holy crap, I didn't think I had that many. Pleasure doing business. You're not going to buy our, our tasty sausages. She'll she'll only buy goods which can sell on high pr at high price. It's basic business sense. Wow, suddenly I feel like <laughs> we got ripped off. It's alright, I think both parties benefited here. I think we might want to make a habit of trading with no pun like this to earn money. Meh. Friends feel like becoming regular customers. Part of Shield Shield Sore will be more than happy to buy from friends whenever and wherever. What do you mean, wherever? When friends find items, Shield Shield can confirm using terminal and wire money right back. Shield Shield think friends not complain, yes, yes? Oh, that sounds cool. It sounds good to me. Hmm, dealing with independent Nopon has the benefit of being untraceable by our former colonies. It sure makes transaction easy. Then it decided, from today on, she'll she'll count friends among own patrons. She'll she'll will abide here for some time. If, if friends need anything, please to holler. We will, thanks. That's one difficulty taken care of. Yeah. Alright, time we finally got some rest. Did I even get to pick up... No, I didn't. I ain't resting until I get my loot, dang it. Auto selling items. Sell only items will be automatically sold to Shield Shield, the Nopon Trainer, as you acquire them. If you can't carry any more money, they'll simply disappear. Nopon coins can be traded for items at Nopon Coin X changes. They can also be used for collectopedia requests, cooking, gym crafting, and leveling up classes. Oh. I didn't know it could do all that. 
Why not? Ooh, got wood and some this other parts this decent, time. Right? Shield. Hello, customer. Can Shield Shield request favor in return for handsome reward? What kind of favor? And not big favor. Shield Shield only make register of friends. How does that work then? Caravan of Shield Shield not only know upon caravan and world, you know. Shield Shield have many compatriots in many places. Shield Shield now trying to make formal register of said chums. You are a traveler. Just do it yourself as you go along in it. Well, Shield Shield won't very much to do this, but currently waiting for teacher. So Shield Shield stuck here. Favor is this. If you choose to accept... Talk to no pawn merchants like Shil Shil when you see them. We can do that. Shil Shil no friends have what it takes. It's a bit weird to ask people you barely know to do this, but whatever. There are 19 caravans of all. What? That's loads. But there is so many no pawn who cooperate like Shil Shil and Mimo, Mimu will not be a problem. Talk to no pawn about requests and friends and get stone like this. Come back when all are collected. Okay. A yellow stone. Not only yellow, but red and blue too. She'll she'll want to collect all. I believe they call this mission creep. Thank you for kindness. You really are helping no pun in need. All right, we accept. Just as long as you're not in any kind of hurry. All right, we can certainly keep an eye out. Accepted. Huh. There's so much choice. Hmm. Boy, that stuff's expensive. Man, window shopper. <laughs> okay. We could do with some food. I know one thing. I've only been playing it for a little while, and it's, it's, it's been pretty fun, though. I may try to do more stuff on it this go around. No, no, no! More to the right! Right there! Start lowering! Make sure it's airtight! Stand around here! Finer than Ruska flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure. Long as the output's stable. Yes, sir. What's up with the K-rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rank colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A queen's oath. This pisses me off. We get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? For ten rank field rations, I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, you really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. We had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Oh, hey! What now? <gasps> My own indiscretion has caused you difficulties. I'm sorry. No! Uh, we would never... Our apologies, uh, Commander Ethel. That was all, uh, just banter. Believe me, we had <laughs> no intention of. You enjoy you blame them though? Mistake, better meals? You? Uh. Yes, I did. Tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom! Yes, Mom! Guessing her calling ain't silver rank no more.
Just listen to them talk about food makes me hungry. I don't see what's hungry. wrong with Wolf, personally. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My <laughs> mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please, not another stickler for the rules. Can't be long now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you. I like how a lot of those are like the face mech on from the first one. insufferably dusty around here clearly the place befits its dirt rank status the rainy season will soon be upon us I ask your patience for just this short while is that so then leaving aside the issue of cleanliness just what is with all this fog I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated go oh, forget it so, where are my quarters? Yes, this way. Boy, he sounds like a thrilling guy. Like someone I want to beat with a stick, maybe. Ugh. What a filthy room. How the dirt rank has fallen. I suppose that would be something to take up with the castle. Arpharonis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then, let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Vermin? By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Agnes and Kevis. Both. <laughs> I think it's best you see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Mm hmm I got my suspicions about the leaders of each one of them. Looking at something? Oh, nothing in particular, really. It's just kind of a habit. Checking our status, the war. Watching for info updates. Silly. <laughs> Don't know why I still bother to check it anymore. Not like there'd be updates. Huh. What is it? An icon just popped up. Over your head. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now 
Now I can see an icon for you as well. When did we unlock a feature like this? I've never noticed it before. Yours seems to be the only one not locked. Huh? What? Oh! <laughs> He's lit up like a sparking light bulb. I guess there must still be more to this feature. Hey, that's Mimi's. What in the blazes? I've never used this kind of blade before, but all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. So weird. Not like we suddenly just gained the knowledge out of the blue, but as if it were always ingrained deep within us. Strange. Oh, doesn't look like I can get Mimi's gear. Now that's a shame. Hmm. This it? <gasps> How come I got Moody Guts and not Noah's, huh? That's what I'd like to know. Your class is the only one I can seem to pick, unfortunately. Hmm. Whoa. You can lug this thing about without a power frame. Not bad. <laughs> Don't know how this is even working, but cool. But is this all part of Ouroboros too? If it gives us more options in battle, I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to take this new blade out for a spin. From here, we head due south, right? Perfect. We can test them out on the road. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. Here. Go to Characters Class to change a Characters Class. Every class has its quirks and characteristics. To, so be sure to play around with as many as you can. Upon winning a battle, you will receive class points with, that will increase your class rank. The quickest way to increase class rank is to continually use one class. Go to Characters, Arts, in the main menu to set up a character's Master Arts. By raising the rank of a master's, really, of a character's class, you can eventually master the class's arts. If you switch to another class, you can set those artists' arts into Master Arts subslots. The number of available subslots will increase as your character gain levels. Also note that Kevis, or Kevisi classes can only set Agni in class arts as Master Arts and vice versa. As your class rank rises, you'll start to gain mastery of the skill it wields. Mastered skills can be used independent of class. Oh. You can set skills mastered in other classes from the main menu characters and skills. As you raise your level, you'll be able to set more master skills up to a maximum of three. Is it? I definitely need to play around with it, but it's definitely going to be something new for me to figure out. You can change the class of individual characters. Characters. Next, you want to click class. Change someone's class. A list of available classes is displayed on the right side of the screen. Assign Noah the Zephyr class. I'll protect you. Now let's change Mio's class to Sword Fighter. Here. I'm fine with attacking. Let's change Uni's class to Tactician. I'll heal you right up. Let's change Tana's class to Medic Gunner. We're better to monitor the battle than on healing duty. Let's change last class to Ogre. So I got a whack him. I can do that. <laughs> change her to Heavy Guard. I'll take real good care of the bad guys. Now that Noah's class has been switched to Zephyr, let's set up his Master Arts. Uh, time to set up 
our master arts. First select Noah. Master arts will set up from the arts menu. Okay. To the left of the regular art slots are the master art subslots. Mastering an art with another class and setting it here will allow you to use it while playing as another class. Crowd okay. beat. Let's set white slash to Mio's master art. White slash. Set myopic screen to Uni's. Let's set Dark Banner to Tyons. Dark Banner! Crash out! out. And Giant Swing to Cenos. Giant Swing! The hammer has a three attacks. Okay. Side attack, you can spam the ultimate. Sweet. Finish assigning the RS for his speed return. Okay, it's time to set up your master skills. Select Noah. Master skills can all be set from the skills menu. Skills have their own designated slots. Go ahead and set the sword fighter skill Cypher Edge. Increase critical rate. Let's set split second counter to Mio's. Deal 125% of attack damage when you evade an attack. Cool. Let's set Ninja Healer to Unis. Use the aggro damage from healing arts by 40%. Well, that'd definitely be nice. Let's set Ethereal Ability to Tions. Set Defensive Soul to Lands. Boost Physical de Defense. That's awesome. Fighting Prowess to Hers. I kind of like this. This is pretty cool. You will not be able to change classes or edit master arts for a time. These options will become unlocked again after you progress the main story. Mio's class. Hey. Is I should try it out. Okay. Heavy items also worth saving. Yep, yeah, we bought caravan, stop by a fresh shop later. Okay. Kinda cool. Let's go someplace else. Big ol' enemies. I'll just avoid you for now. A hand bunny. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Crash out! Is called a land You're dealing with me. You barely messed anything up today. It's kind of right. you just try it out on these critters. Oh, well, hey, this I guess I could just try it on them. Don't rush in. You think you're all that, do you? Agnes Arts and Kevis Arts. Perhaps it will yield a new strategy. Right. We could use two arts at the same time. Here, fusion arts. Fusion arts let you use a class art fuse with its paired master arts effects. Then, when both are recharged, hold ZR and press a class art button to use the fusion. Using fusion arts allows you to chain cancel multiple art attacks together. Arts into fusion arts, fusion arts into arts, and fusion arts into other fusion arts. Got to recharge the arts of both sides, Canvas and Agnes. 